Last Saturday, I did a fairly stupid video where I compared the fake GTX 1050 Ti I bought off of Wish to this thing, which is a 1050 Ti that I bought off of AliExpress. Now, I was really dumb, and I just assumed that this wasn't a real graphics card because I didn't recognize it, but it is, in fact, a 1050 Ti that Asus has been making all along. So in today's video, we're gonna compare them properly. I'm gonna throw them into the benchmarking gauntlet of death and see which one comes out on top. Okay, well, I mean, obviously this one's gonna come out on top, but I wanna see how much of a difference there is between a real 1050 Ti and the fake crap that they sell on the other websites with like real benchmarks and stuff. Before I get any further into the video, I do stream on Twitch on Saturdays, uh, so if you're interested in seeing that, I'll have my Twitch account linked in the description below, so you can come and watch me screw around while playing random games. Before we get into any of the actual performance metrics and stuff like that, I just want to actually clarify what the two graphics cards are. Now, the graphics card from Wish, which is supposedly a 1050 Ti, is actually a GTS 450 Revision 2. And not only is it that terrible graphics card, it's also the 512 megabytes of VRAM version, which is just the lowest of the low when it comes to GTS 450s. The AliExpress card, on the other hand, is a fully-fledged 4GB GTX 1050 Ti. The GTX 1050 Ti is by no means a powerhouse gaming graphics card, but it'll kind of do for 1080p gaming in most titles. And as you'll see in the benchmarks later, it's, it's not the worst gaming graphics card. However, in today's market, you can't really buy one for a price that makes sense. There are usually cheaper alternatives that perform better. One massive advantage that the real card has over the fake card is the fact that this GTX 1050 Ti just works. You plug it into a system, the system identifies it, you install drivers and you game with it. With the, the Wish card, the GTS 450, it took me ages to actually turn that graphics card into a 450. Because it was brainwashed really heavily to think that it's a GTX 1050 Ti, it just didn't work properly. Even though I got it to correctly identify as a GTS 450, it still performs really weirdly. For example, I couldn't get it to work in my Intel test system. I don't know why, it just refused to boot with that GTS 450 in it. Nothing I did could get it to work. However, it worked perfectly in my Ryzen system for some reason. So the CPU that I used for the tests was a Ryzen 7 2700. I had 16 gigs of 3200 MHz DDR4 in the system. And with that, I think let's just get straight into the benchmarks and see how these graphics cards perform. As you can see, the 1050 Ti is a lot better. I actually initially ran all of the benchmarks on the 1050 Ti at medium settings. The problem was though that for most of the games, the GTS 450 couldn't handle the games at medium settings. So I actually had to redo all of the benchmarks at the very lowest settings available on the games. The GTS 450 really struggled with the benchmarking gauntlet. Uh, the two esports games were playable, like you can play Dota and you can play CSGO. Although CSGO isn't a great gaming experience, especially on a higher refresh rate model monitor with this graphics card, although I would note that it does perform better than that GT710, which is the second most purchased graphics card on Amazon, which is pretty terrifying. And that graphics card costs the same as the fake Wish graphics card, but I'm not recommending it, I'm just saying. The thing is though, the 512 megs of VRAM on the graphics card really, really kneecaps its performance, because with newer games like Far Cry 5, even GTA, Rainbow Six, and PUBG, it has really low frame rates, and I think a lot of that that has to do with the fact that the frame buffer is just way too small. Because let's face it, with a lot of modern games, even four gigs of VRAM is very limited. Now it really isn't any surprise, but the GTX 1050 Ti absolutely crushed the GTS 450 Imposter Edition uh, in all of the titles. The thing that you have to bear in mind though is that there is quite a big price difference between the two. That fake 1050 Ti, which they're actually selling on Wish now as a 1060, and I've even seen 1060 Ti variants, which is pretty funny, 
um, you're selling, you're buying it for around $48. Whereas a 1050 Ti goes for about $120 if you can get a good deal on one, which again, I'm not recommending. Don't buy one of these graphics cards. Even if it is real, it's not a good purchase anymore. Uh, get something like an RX 570 off of Amazon instead. It's going to get way better performance. Even with that price difference, the GTS 450 is a really bad value for money. And with that, I actually think I'm going to leave it there. I don't want this video to be too long because I feel like I've made way too much content content uh, on this topic anyway. Um, so let me know in the comment section below if you think the performance difference between the two graphics cards was actually bigger than you were expecting. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, do like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. I'll be streaming on Twitch a little bit later today, so follow me there. I'll have it linked in the description. Again, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and there's a Discord server. And until the next day, <laughs> until the next video, bye-bye.